before that we will talk about the process variable before cavity fill and this is only for cold chamber machine so let's discuss about the process variable before cavity fill so the cold chamber machine with a horizontal short end has a significant disadvantage over other die casting process the metal is introduced using a horizontal sleeve this process provide opportunity for temperature loss metal contamination air entrapment frictional loss due to the sleeve and plunger tip and a 90 degree turn in a metal path the short end process can help minimize the temperature loss and air entrapment through control of several process parameter before the metal reach the cavity so this para process parameter uh, will discuss uh, in this video so let's take a first parameter which is uh, short delay time the short delay time is uh, the amount of time from when the ladle has completed the pouring into the cold chamber or when the short motion begins this time should be dictated by the amount of time for the metal wave within the short sleeves to go to the parting line and then return to the short tip the short motion should start at the instant that the metal wave hits the short tip this time should be tested during process development and then controlled during production by the plc and documented within the uh, process setup book so let's take another process parameter uh, pore hole velocity the pore hole velocity is the plunger speed average from the start of the plunger motion to the point where the pore hole is closed by the plunger this speed needs to be fast as possible without allowing metal to escape the cold chamber fill hole during the pore hole closing phase of the shot there is another uh, process parameter uh, that's called slow shot start position the slow shot start position is the position where the slow shot velocity is initiated the setting should be equal to or slightly before the pouring hole close position the slow shot may be set to start before pour hole close because of the hydraulic and electronic delay in initiating the slow shot speed the means to control this position accurately is to have accurate close loop measurement of position via the plc when the desired start position is achieved the plc should trigger the slow shot to begin please note that when the using uh, the plc or position based shot control the normal plc can scan should be interrupted so that timely control of the position based output may be completed however this interruption should not be higher in priority than safety function of the die casting machines so now we have another process parameter slow shot velocity the slow shot velocity is an average plunger velocity between the pore hole close position and the sleeve full position the value for the uh, slow shot velocity is a critical to minimize air entrapment the critical slow shot velocity calculation uh, provide a good starting point for uh, the slow shot velocity setting calculation for the critical slow shot velocity formula please uh, note that the best velocity for slow shot is at or slighter above plus uh, 2 inch per second the critical slow shot calculation control of slow shot velocity is best done through closed loop control of a, of a sub proportional valve of a slow shot velocity is best done through closed loop control of a serpo or proportional valve now let's take uh, another process parameter uh, slow shot acceleration rate this is a very important uh, uh, parameter because uh, once we calculate the slow shot velocity or uh, critical slow shot velocity is not uh, uh, good for uh, less than 50% uh, filling ratio so you have to use this slow shot acceleration if you are using less than 50% uh, filling ratio so let's discuss about the, how we can decide the slow shot acceleration and what is about the slow shot acceleration. So some more advanced uh, machine allow for constant acceleration of the shot tip during the slow shot phases. This is, has been proven by research to provide the best condition to minimize air interrupted and short time. The acceleration value has, be, uh, has a broad range of a good condition. Therefore, the best scenario is when acceleration is matched to the desired fast short velocity at a metal at gate position 
this calculation uh, you can uh, we'll discuss later how we can calculate this uh, acceleration or uh, my uh, you can watch my other video in which we uh, explain how you can calculate the short acceleration for your uh, casting so let's take another process parameter wash fast short start position at the sleeve full position the cold chamber die casting machine uh, should initiate the fast shot uh, the means to control this position accurately is to have accurate closed loop measurement of position via the plc when the desired start position is achieved the plc should trigger the fast shot to begin please note that when us uh, when using the plc uh, for position based base shot control the normal plc scan should be interrupted so that timely control of the position based upon base output may be completed however this interrupt should not be higher in priority than safety function of the die casting machine so now uh, we have another parameter process parameter slow to fast acceleration rate slow to fast acceleration rate it is important that the machine is capable of uh, completing the acceleration to the desired fast shot speed before the metal reach the um, uh, casting in gate or you can say uh, sometimes in your die casting machine we denote it uh, v rise right so it's a slow to fast shot acceleration how uh, in which time you will get the desired fast shot speed so that acceleration should be fast without delaying uh, so that your cavity can fill within a uh, required filling time so to determine if this is possible the fast shot acceleration rate must be known this can be calculated by measuring the change in velocity over the change in time or current shot profile this acceleration should be documented as machine capability characteristics the required acceleration rate which is based upon the runner volume can also be calculated if the required acceleration rate is lower than the machine capability then the process will work well if the required acceleration rate is higher than the machine capability then the fast shot may need to be started early by some times the calculation for uh, required uh, acceleration rate uh, will uh, also discuss later therefore the control mechanism is to watch the actual acceleration rate and look for uh, downward trends over time if the rate drops machine maintaining staff should be involved in identify the reason for the problem see uh, all the calculation um, as i said you will discuss later because uh, the calculation part we we don't want to discuss in this video so uh, it makes video lengthy so that's why i will all the calculation uh, already you can find it on my youtube channel but uh, yeah uh, definitely if you will not find in this youtube channel we'll discuss later and uh, in detail also all right okay so another uh, we have two speed machines if uh, two speed cold chamber machine is used there is no pore hole velocity phase in this case the critical slow shot velocity must be calculated with a pore hole close position setting of 0 inches although some metal may come out of the short sleeve each shot this calculation should still be used to determine the slow shot velocity the slow shot start position will also be 0 uh, inches so to determine the best setting for this process parameter several value must be known these values are uh, total shot volume this can be determined in the cad geometry file in the design phase or by uh, weight scale on the production floor liquid metal density this vary by alloy chemistry and should be known distance from the plunger start to pore hole close this required to determine uh, slow shot start position sleeve full position Uh, this value can be calculated from the impact position using the entire pore weight liquid metal density and the plunger area casting and overflow volume this value can either be determined from cad geometry or estimated or measured metal at in gate position this value can be calculated from the impact position using the weight of the metal through the gate liquid metal density and the plunger area